You have to be a gold card one to use this lounge. Unfortunately, not. No. Oh. So you're welcome to use it for. Uh, to do As some of you might know, I fly economy pretty much all the time. But it's not always as bad as it seems. I've realized that having a gold card is like having the same benefits of a first class passenger. Like priority check-in, free extra luggage, free seat allocation, and of course, access to first class lounges. Did your buddy Mary's here? Oh. All that for the price of the cheapest economy seat. Thank you. A few months ago, I took 20 flights in two weeks just to get gold status. Let me show you how I did it. It's uh, five in the morning. I'm on my way to Heathrow. Today, I'm going to be taking three flights to get to Bangkok. Um, London, Oslo, Oslo, Doha, Doha. Bangkok. That's what we have to do to get those points. Nice to play too. Sure. Yeah, I always watch your videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's so cool, I can't believe I bumped into you. Oh. Hey. Hey, Let thanks so much. We might be Good in night. there now. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Every time you fly with British Airways, you earn two types of points, Avios and Tier Points. With Avios, you can pay for things like hotel rooms, car rental, and of course, my favorite, flights. But this video is all about tier points. You can't spend them, you can't buy them, and you can't earn with credit cards. You can only earn tier points with time in the sky. These points will give you status, also known as the executive club tiers. These tiers are blue, bronze, silver, and gold. The higher the status, the better the benefit. Bye. Have a good Christmas. Have a good one. Yeah. Flight one, done. No way now. Only another 19 flights to go. Let's do this. British Airways is part of an alliance called One World, which is 13 major airlines sharing benefits with each other. Every time you fly with any of these 13 airlines, it's as if you're flying with British Airways, which means you can also earn tier points flying different airlines. Oh my god, I watched, I watched it last night, yeah. <laughs> you watched it last night? Yeah, actually, uh, it was, uh, it was the, um, the Singapore Airlines, yes. from economy class all the way to the first class. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, thank you very yes. much. Yes, no worries. Have a nice flight. Thank you. Bye-bye. You start with Blue. All you need for this is to apply online for free, and you get an email straight away welcoming you to the executive club. There aren't many benefits here, but it gets the ball rolling. Boarding now to my second flight of the day, going from Oslo to Doha. This flight is going to be a business class flight, long haul, over 2,000 miles, which means I'm going to earn 140 tier points, which is very good. I'm very excited. I've never seen Qatar A350 before. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at that. The amount of tier points you earn is based on two things the distance that you fly and the cabin that you're in. So the further you go in the best possible cabin, the better. Everything here is so pretty. Like oh, oh yeah? yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay, so there are two tricks to be played here. First, find a good deal. I found this Qatar Airways in business class from Oslo to Bangkok return for just 1300 pounds. That is pretty cheap. If I was flying from London to Bangkok on Qatar business class, it would have been over 3000 pounds. So all I had to do was make my way to Oslo as cheaply as possible to get the flight. Flight number three. This is going from Doha to Bangkok. Let's show on my flatmate and he helps with the videos as well. Cheers. Cheers. Second trick, connections are good. Every flight over 2,000 miles is a long haul flight, which in business class gets you 140 tier points. So it's better to break down your trip into as many 2,000 mile flights as possible. That way, you'll fly more long hauls and earn more tier points for the same distance. Good morning from Bangkok and today I'm going to be flying to Doha. And you know I'm making this video about tier point runs and how you can get plus just to get little perks like priority lanes. As you can see here, the economy queue is massive. But you can avoid that 
by having status, even if you're flying economy. Let me show you what the business class lane looks like. Completely, completely empty. Hi, Monica. I am now bronze on British Airways, which is ruby on one world. That's because I've taken three long haul flights, 140 tier points each, 420 tier points now. That's right, at 300 tier points, we become bronze. And that comes with priority check-in, which can be very helpful to avoid long economy lines. All right, thank you very much for everything. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks. Bye. Good luck with your Thank you. Cheers. Back in Oslo. At 600 tier points, it becomes silver, which gives access to business class lounges. A vulture board from snowy Oslo to London Heathrow. But you have access to first class lounges all around the world for you and your guests, regardless of the cabin you're flying in, you need gold. And for that, you need 1,500 tier points. That's a lot. But when you fly economy as much as I do, it's totally worth it. Flight number six done, back in London, going home one day, then back on board. This next trip is gonna get me gold by using the same two tricks I've used before. First, I found a very good deal from Dublin to Hawaii all the way in business class with British Airways and American Airlines for just under 1,500 pounds. Picked the, pick the long way around, all right? The slow boat, as my mom calls it. Second, I'll break down this trip into eight separate flights, six of which are long hauls. So that single booking is gonna give me 920 tier points. But first, I need to get to Dublin. And for that, I just booked the cheapest option. I'm about to get on board on this run a flight from London Gatwick to Dublin. Flight number seven done. Thank God for that. It's 7 a.m. The whole trip is gonna take 28 hours and starts here in Dublin Airport. So this was flight number eight. The flight is was a bit late, so we might have to do some running now. Moving from terminal three. five to terminal three. Might just about make the flight. Flagship business. Five minutes before boarding, been flying for over 30 hours now, and it's still another six to go. And that's Hawaii now. Now, another flight marathon happening. And that was American Airlines from Honolulu to Los Angeles. Just arrived in New York. Now, just one more long haul flight to catch. Hello, thank, thank you. very much. That's great. Nice to have you back again. Thank Welcome you. to Love World. Right. Getting on board with this British really show is from New York to London. I'm about to get on board on the last flight of this run. And that's the last flight of the tier point run. Now all I need to do is go back to London because I don't live in Amsterdam. I should be gold now. First class today? No, I'm economy. Okay, so you have a gold card? I do. Absolutely, come through. Enjoy oh, thank your you. lunch. All right.
The most painful part of this whole process is that you have to earn these points every 12 months. All of your points will disappear in your anniversary. So you've got a year to earn them and enjoy them. But there is some good news. It's now easy to get status. That's right. British Airways has reduced the amount of points needed for each tier by 25%. So I'm tempted to give this another go.